and one investigation found only 30% of those arrested actually have links to gangs. Yo! Yo! Yo, the dude's like, hey guys, I built this mega prison. And honestly, if we are, if we just basically put everyone in prison, then no one is a criminal. No one can do crimes. <laughs> are now gonna move on to the El Salvador prison. We will enter an isolation cell, which is- This is Lucito, Luisito Cominica. Cominica, 42 million subscribers on this channel. This video has 23 million views. <clears throat> And he made, I think, come, the Lord is waiting for us. An English dubbed video about the situation in the El Salvadoran prisons. Insane. Next, we will enter an isolation cell, which is where prisoners are sent when they commit an infraction. The only light entrance is a hole in the ceiling. How many people did you kill? I do not remember. How many were there? We have committed different crimes at different times. Absolutely everything is done in here, from going to the bathroom to cleaning up. Everything is done in here open. This group behind me alone is very possibly responsible directly or indirectly for more than 200 homicides. We Thank are in El Salvador. Thank you, 34 MKD. And today we will enter the terrorism confinement center. The that guy was getting cooked by a lot of Latinos because he made this video very pro-industrial prison system. Largest prison in the Americas with a capacity to house about 40 zero prisoners, of which today a significant percentage are dangerous. 40 zero? 40,000. Gang members and criminal leaders considered terrorists. This is a maximum security prison, and this is evident from the moment you are perhaps a kilometer from its perimeter, because there are already security elements that begin to interrogate you. They get out of your vehicle, they do a body search, they check- Okay. The perhaps makes it seem like this is definitely an AI dub. Immediately. Immediately, this is an AI dub your identification who are you what are you doing here they tell me that there are seven security filters those that are imposed which makes it practically an impossible it literally sounds as if it's luisito himself was doing the dub i mean he might have read it mission for anyone to enter or leave without full authorization in this video we will know a little of how life is here inside what are some methods and punishments that are imposed to control today's inmates what are some of the rules that the country has imposed to control the situation with its criminals come the lord is waiting for us let's give him what to come in of course they take all your belongings phone wallets nothing you can get in it is even very interesting that the prison is built with a technology that does not allow a telephone signal so that nothing really communicates from inside here. Oh, it's one big giant Faraday cage. I just got 23 million views. This channel has 40 million subscribers, dude. It has 43 million subscribers. I mean, think about it this way. Normally, YouTube would never serve me this channel's videos because it's a Spanish-speaking channel. They also pass you to one floor where they search you, they take off your shoes, they even check the thickness of your socks. It is not for nothing that it is defined as a maximum security prison. When a person deprived of his freedom, that is a prisoner, enters here, his whole body is searched with a technology that allows us to literally see if there is anything inside his body, data capture is taken, and he proceeds to go to the module assigned to him. Oh, by the way, we are able to enter to document with special press permits, but we do not really admit any type of visit. People deprived what? of their liberty in these types does that even mean we do not admit any type of permit what of prisons specially designated for terrorists are not entitled to any visits nothing about i want to see my mom i want to see my wife my daughter nothing you lost that right because of the decisions you made in the oh my god this guy what's up with this guy is he like a fascist what's happening is this a mistranslation or is this dude just like insane he's like yeah you made decisions criminal first of all i hope everybody understands that obviously el salvador has a massive issue with crime specifically the two american created gangs that and the irony is lo not lost on me the united states of american prison system literally sent back to el salvador without informing the government at the time that's right you know when Trump says, like, they're opening up their prisons and they're sending their and murderers and drug dealers? Like, we did that to El Salvador. We literally did that to El Salvador. We did that. That's why they have such a massive exploding 
uh, a militarized gang problem in the country. He's explaining the viewpoint of El Salvador, but it's true that in the original video, he doesn't seem to frame the jail as a he doesn't seem to frame the jail as a bad thing. It's not AI; it's just a literal one-to-one -one translation because of the word he uses. The mannerisms. Pin me, I'll explain. Bukele is uh, Palestinian and originally rose to power, as we talked about time and time again, as like a bit of a leftist guy, and then very quickly became a crypto guy. And now, on top of being a uh crypto guy he's now also like created this mass prison dumping anyone and everyone that is even remotely tangentially related to uh any of the gangs in el salvador but because the gang violence in el salvador is like unimaginably bad this kind of like almost dictatorial action or not almost like straight up dictator style action is not necessarily perceived as like as damaging as you would think as a matter of fact it is <laughs> actually got him a tremendous amount of praise as far as i understand partially once again due to the fact that the gang violence situation was insane who's paying the price of el salvador's war on gangs oh this was the video i was supposed to watch originally to solve the game uh did it solve the crime problem or are the gangs still operating as far as i understand the gangs are still operating but nowhere near the same severity as as they once were however the real issues are not on uh the 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 way to deal with violent crime which by the way obviously there are uh, much better ways of trying to deal with violent crime in this way because this is not like a long he sounds based I'm confused as to why you're against them. I don't know if you know this, but like, uh, I am a believer in rehabilitation over incarceration. This is going to cause unimaginable long-term problems. You cannot just simply take people and like trap them in an area and be like, all right, we're done with it. I live in the United States of America. And let me tell you, we did that and it's really bad and it doesn't work. The other problem here is also that, um, given the, the severity and given the streamlined approach to dealing with this, given the streamlined approach to dealing with like a uh, uh, crime in this incredibly ultra draconian fashion, you're going to throw a lot of innocent people in jail for being tangentially related to a group that might even be threatening you to do the crimes. Because when we're talking about like a narco state, a lot of the people that are joining M uh, MS-13 are not joining because they want to, they're joining because they're threatened and they have no way to prove their innocence or family members of criminals like they're doing dragnets and it is completely removing them of any kind of human rights and it is legitimately terrifying it's especially terrifying and i i believe it's a testament to like how bad the crime issue was in el salvador because he is insanely popular also, a lot of informal economies comprised of jobs connected to the gang, so the people getting the most fucked are those who had no choice but to participate rather than the bosses. One issue country? Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It is the issue, for understandable reasons. Make no mistake. El Salvador crime rate and statistics for 2018 was 53.31%, which was still at a decline of 15% from 2017. Oh my god. He won all of Salvador in Congress yesterday. The PNLY opposition to win renounced her party and went independent. It should also be mentioned there is still no legal right to an attorney if you get arrested and thousands of inmates have not had a trial. Oh, yeah. The crime situation in El Salvador was horrendous. The draconian response was shown massive improvements, but as you said, unimaginably cruel long-term circumstance. Surely a functional military-powered police state has turned out well historically in Central South America. Yeah. It's so funny that people don't understand, like, what the implications of such a thing uh, are. What the implications of such things are but of course when you got 53 percent uh crime that is on a decline mind you of course people are gonna be like yeah no actually it's, it's pretty awesome but first a special report from el salvador where there are growing concerns about the number of children and women being imprisoned without a fair trial oh what a start what a start to the subject matter growing concerns of the number of women and children being imprisoned without a trial it's like one of those things where it just got progressively worse as the sentence continued dog the central american country introduced tough laws last year to tackle the shocking numbers of murders and violence crime carried out by gangs but the united nations among others say the measures have come at the expense of human rights with arbitrary arrests torture and deaths in 2015 there were more than six and a half thousand murders in el salvador the worst murder rate in the world by last year the number of murders had fallen by 92% to fewer than 500. The current prison population there has now swelled to between 90 and- Oh, it's not 53%, it's 53 people per 100,000. 
1994, it was 135 per 100,000. And 100,000. But more than 1,000 children and 8,000 women have been arrested and detained. And one investigation found only 30% of those arrested actually have links to gangs. Yo! Yo! What the f Yo, the dude's like, hey guys, I built this mega prison. And honestly, if we are, if we just basically put everyone in prison, then no one is a criminal. No one can do crimes. It's crazy. Dude, it is terrifying how popular he is for this, by the way. People love this shit until they go to jail. Okay, now let's get back to this. Uh, let's get back to this video glazing up uh, Seacott and the, and the insane prison that they have. Armory. You have guns, of course, to control in the event of a riot or similar situation. To date, there has not been one. And look, these are the hand and foot cuffs that are placed on prisoners who have to leave their cells, whether for food, exercise, medical care, etc. You don't leave without a pair of these. This is a surprisingly light but sturdy bulletproof vest. We are already inside one of the modules that has 32 cells, of which each one has a capacity to receive about 100 people deprived of their freedom. Although these numbers may vary, it is very shocking to see it up close. Criminals sleep in a four-tier bunk system without any kind of mattress, and once people enter here, they will not leave until they finish their sentences. We're talking about criminals here with sentences ranging from 20 years to over a thousand years. Literally, there are beings who did crimes such that they were given sentences of more than a thousand years. Hence the saying that when you enter the sector, you do not leave until you finish your sentence because everything, absolutely everything is done in here. From going to the bathroom to washing up, everything is done here open. Another shocking fact is that the lights are never turned off here, not even to sleep, which makes you completely lose track of time. That you're describing torture. That, I mean, everything he just showed is just torture. This is like, watch it in the original language with the subs as an option. Why would I do that? At least I can understand what the f it, it, translation is saying instead of watching it with the original language where I won't understand what the f translation is saying at all. My man, yeah. <laughs> My man said, bro, subs, not dubs, dude. Will is right. This ain't a anime dog. There are no clocks, so you don't know what time it is. It depends entirely on the schedules imposed on you by the custodians when they enter. Everyone has to be abducted. We can also see that everyone has the same uniform and there are collective pots which they use to shower, to bathe, to do. We can also see that here there is a person from the medical team who comes every morning to leave pills for people who have some condition, who maybe are feeling some discomfort, even their hearings in case their sentences have to be extended are done from here inside. I want you to pay attention to this. We are in the module, here are the cells, and right here is the fourth of face-to-face -face and notification. Dude, what is happening in the world, man? This is like... This is like, if YouTube was around during World War II, you bet your f ass would be doing concentration camp reacts. Like, oh my f lord. YouTubers would be like, yeah, here we are in the Warsaw ghetto, which many haters are calling a ghetto, but I'm here to show you, I'm here to dispel the rumors that, like, <laughs> it's a ghetto at all. You know what I mean? It, 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 what? This actually did happen with the Red Cross? True. That is true. They literally did. They, didn't they go to Auschwitz? Yeah, Red Cross did do that. That is not wrong. That, that literally did happen. This is in case any of the prisoners have been accused of new crimes for which they have not been tried, that this may extend their sentences. So from Juan Perez, come here. They found you a new crime. They are accusing you of something else because they are informing you of all this. And then in this other room here, they do the confrontation. They do the recognition of identity. Then they form different prisoners. They give them a number on this side. Okay, here, this is a glass that can be seen perfectly from there, from here to there, it is like a mirror. So the person who is crossing here can identify the aggressors, the accused, and without having set foot outside the module, this person is already accused of a different crime and can already spend many more years in here. Like, that should be a red flag for anyone, okay? You bring in, you bring in another eyewitness from a one-sided, from a, from, from a,
uh one-sided mirror and be like yeah this is the guy why is the judge jury and executioner happening inside of the prison think about that this process is not streamlined for a reason it's not supposed to be streamlined because there's supposed to be a trial but we already saw the trial structure where uh they basically have 530 people in one room and the judge goes all right 32 of these guys actually had guns the rest of them are also still going to jail likewise here inside the module are the courtrooms where the accused can talk to their lawyers all of that is respected here and their new sentences are read to them all remotely this is very impressive. So here they have the cameras for video calls. Here they sit those already sentenced. Here they listen. Here they can dialogue. Here they can talk. Here they can speak everything remotely. So I repeat, you don't set foot outside. No, no, this is truly amazing. This is truly amazing, he says. You know, you don't... <laughs> Once you're in prison, you're in prison. Very impressive. There's no, you, you've lost your humanity. You have been successfully dehumanized. This guy is out of control, man. Guys, the reason why I'm so critical of this is because these dudes, in your mind, you're thinking of like the most devastating criminal. You're thinking of like a f serial decapitator, child okay the problem is that those guys are getting the same treatment or depending on gang affiliations maybe sometimes even better treatment than the dude who was arrested and detained permanently due to suspicions of aligning or being affiliated with the gangs that's the problem i hope you understand this is nutty they are taking us to another area and notice this detail Every time you change area, the floor is made of stones on purpose to make noise in case someone escapes. Make every little step more than evident. Let's go up to one of the watchtowers. From up here, we can see some of the modules and we can appreciate the security rings. The highest walls are 9 meters of concrete followed by 3 meters of electrified fencing. I was allowed to go up to the catwalk area, which is where security bodies are strategically placed to be able to see from above into the cells. Here we can observe some of the- I mean, while it is absolutely extreme and has produced positive results for the population, there's a reason why he's so popular. Bro, you cannot hide behind popularity when we found out that one, they underreport homicides, and two, it doesn't matter if the population that is not currently in prison are happy thinking that, you know, things are fine. I'm explaining to you that it's <clears throat> short term, okay? Not a solution to rampant crime at all, but people do feel safer. People feel safer because they think the government that is doing this won't inevitably on accident or deliberately do it to them. Also, just because something is popular doesn't mean that it's good. Like for example, Jim Crow was very popular. Slavery was very popular. It was so popular that who didn't even own slaves were fighting to preserve it. It's like, Think about that for a second. Bro, this ain't your battle. What are you fighting? This ain't your battle at all. You don't got no slaves. You're basically one step removed. Why the fuck are you fighting to preserve it? Bro, these are valorant, violent criminals, man. Why is that a red flag? Some of these guys are very dangerous, man. True, it's working. True, man. Oh my God. There are so many, there are so many dudes in this chat because of their American brain, they immediately lose sight of like the, the genuine human rights violations that we are seeing in front of our eyes. So what if they're violent criminals, man? What do you mean? You shouldn't do this to even violent criminals to begin with because there's no way that these guys are reintegrating into society. It's Jover. When you pack them up like sardines into metal boxes where the light is on 24 seven, that's insane. There's no way any of those dudes are not integrated, reintegrating into society. They've locked up 74,000 people, okay? And studies conducted on the matter show that 70% of those who are detained are not affiliated with gangs at all. So what's the end point here? You're just gonna arrest the entire country? As John Oliver says, 100% of prisoners are also human beings. Exactly. There is that too. The methods that the prisoners use to sleep, as you will see in their welcome kit, and so we could call them. 
They are given a sheet, they are given their uniform, and they are given a towel. You can see that some choose to cover themselves with the sheet and put the t-shirts over their eyes to keep the light out so they can sleep and still others choose to lie on their towels. We are now witnessing a cell extraction. This is an activity that is done once a day so that the prisoner- They don't have cots, dude. They sleep straight on the metal and they use it in the towel. You have an option. You either use the towel to cover your face because the lights are on 24 seven or you put the towel underneath you as bedding can exercise what is done is that the criminals are taken out of the cell in an orderly fashion five by five or sometimes ten by ten they are placed in a row and handcuffs are placed on their wrists and ankles sometimes they are also joined together they are then escorted to a designated area of the module where they will be surrounded by guards so that they can move around without the possibility of rebelling Similarly, here we can see that most, if not all, of the guards... It's so funny because 100% of chatters watch movies like or TV shows like Andor and will be like, wow, these conditions are devastating for those people there, dog. What the hell? That's so sick that they re violently rebelled. Meanwhile, they're seeing the actual thing happening in real life and going, dude, this is totally valid, actually choose to cover their faces for their own safety and that of their families because in many cases they themselves live in neighborhoods that have been previously ruled by gang members so they do not want to have to pay negative consequences for the work they are doing here or for their country their loved ones oh and see from inside the cell they put the handcuffs on their wrists first of course so that no one can push the door open once it is opened bro this literally is like this straight up i i mean this in all sincerity is just the power transfer from the gangs to the government like the government is behaving like fucking gangs that's it and they don't even have the paperwork to back it up like at least normally under different circumstances the monopoly of violence is supposed to be reasserted through some convoluted legal process that doesn't get it right all the time as a matter of fact gets it wrong all the time but this in and of itself is just like oh no we are the god we are the gang now like oh my god and look right now we are seeing how they are being escorted one prisoner at a time look how the chain is attached to their legs all this with the intention of minimizing risks talking with a guard i was just given a piece of information that shocked me and that is that this group alone, which is behind my back, is very possibly directly or indirectly responsible for more than 200 homicides. What a blood curdle. <laughs> Come on, dude. Possibly, maybe, certainly, indirectly. Information once they are formed and the perimeter is protected by guards, their handcuffs are removed so that they can move freely and thus exercise. It is quite frightening to be just a few meters away from murderous kidnappers without any kind of protection. Luckily, there are literally dozens of guards surrounding me. But I won't deny it, this is a scary experience. Looking at the tattoos some of them have on their chests and backs, we can see what gangs they used to belong to. Most allude to Mara Salvatrucha or 18, which are gangs, historically enemies. It is interesting to see the strategy of putting them together in the same cell to represent that the gang no longer cares about you. That has been left in the past and this ideology has changed this system of separating the gangs by cells so they don't fight. Here they- <laughs> Bro, yeah, here they have a united under a common enemy where they will definitely make one ginormous gang. This will never backfire. Certainly, certainly this process of dehumanizing literally some of the most violent criminals will not end up causing any unforeseeable consequences that yield really, really, really bad results for the government. This is so insane, dude. They are practically being forced to reach a peace agreement. They gave me a reading of profiles that list crimes they have committed and it is very difficult to listen to them and it makes your skin crawl. Rape, aggravated homicides, kidnappings, truly inhumane acts. I got to read profiles whose sentences listed 270 years and this, if not more crimes are added to the years they have left to live. 
And if seeing all these images, it is easy to suddenly be moved, to touch your heart, to say, wow, what harsh mistreatment inside the prison. But when you learn of the inhumane atrocities they have committed, it makes sense. Next, we will... Dude, what? Yo, this guy is a... F YouTuber dog, we are so cooked. We are so cooked as a society. We're globally. This little dicky looking ass mother went to like straight up a concentration camp and is like, yeah, but guess what, dude? Guess what? They're <laughs> some of the guys, they're very really, really, really bad guys. El dicky. This makes me feel like a lot of people's problems with like Auschwitz and concentration camps wasn't the fact that the people thrown in there like or wasn't the conditions in the concentration camps and like the murder but instead the fact that people were thrown in there and they weren't like actual criminals they were thrown in there on the by the virtue of their ethnicity it, it does feel like a lot of people don't really have like a genuine issue with the morality of the concentration camp existing just like who is thrown in there like as long as it's like a bad guy I've, I've been primed into thinking like every single person is a bad guy and maybe some innocent people who cares it's pretty crazy that's mexico's biggest youtuber by the way it's cr i mean it's nuts that this guy is just like doing this propaganda to enter an isolation cell which is where the prisoners are sent when they commit an infraction they are always locked with a padlock and basically consist of this space in which they have a cement what would be your answer respectfully uh no concentration camps i'm going to take the unimaginable radical position of how about no concentration camp? Like due process, a focus on rehabilitation and reintegration that is demonstrably more successful in creating a more prosperous society. It's pretty wild. I know. I know I'm crazy with it. Brave take. I think concentration camps are bad. I know. I know. Uh, please stop yelling at me. I'm so sorry. I know it. Just I accidentally said that slab they have a tub of water with a bucket. They have an access to drainage and they have a bathroom. The only light that you have is a hole in the ceiling and depending on the severity of your infraction, the number of hours you have to spend here will be defined. I can tell you that it is a very claustrophobic sensation, very dark and echo accompanied by a silence that weakens anyone, a very serious punishment. I do not want to imagine myself in a situation like this in which I would be locked up in this cell. The isolation cells have this hatch through which food is passed and likewise with this small window through which you can supervise the person who is in there. You can close the door and check right now we have the camera. Everyone on the internet is going to flame me for saying violent criminals can be rehabilitated. Yes, except I don't care because that is a position that I genuinely do believe in, which is precisely the reason why I will defend it. That is a defendable position because it is my belief. Once again, I only get mad when people clip me out of context and act like I am saying something I don't believe in, like Twitch streaming is the most difficult job on the planet or some shit. That's what pisses me off. Camera light on. Turn it off, it's completely dark, right? This is a traumatizing experience. If we talk about the food, they serve three courses of food. I asked to taste the breakfast, that's what I'm going to get. Now we can see that it consists of rice with beans, cream and two tortillas. They tell me that breakfast and dinner is usually the same, it is usually the same dish and at lunchtime maybe they can serve some pasta, maybe they can serve a rice with a different preparation but they never really eat chicken or meat, that doesn't exist here. That doesn't exist here. What do we get, frijolito? We get cream. Each plate of food is put on the scale and has to weigh one pound. There is no distinction of any kind of rank here. Everyone, absolutely everyone eats the same. Today you are probably wondering about the people who are here working, packing the food. They are also people serving time in prison. Yes, but they are what we might call low risk criminals. Basically, all of them are in another prison, not in this one because I repeat that this one is only for terrorists. All these people are under supervision and they are brought in to work from other prisons to do some of their community service. 
As I was telling you, they never leave the modules. And this also applies to meal times. We can see that the plates and trays are left just outside the bars and they are the ones who take them and hand them out. I wondered how they managed to prevent abuses and the food from being stolen so that someone is left without food. They tell me that all this is controlled from above, there is supervision and they make sure that everyone is eating. And in the same way, we can see that there are custodians here watching that the food is destroyed. Why didn't he review the food? I thought he was going to do a food review. I mean, I think like we don't really need a food review. Let's be for real. Like that, the imagery alone was the review. You know what I mean? Distributed fairly once they finish their food. It is their job to rinse the dishes, to leave them relatively clean. They leave them there to be picked up and then they can use that water to clean their mouths, to clean their bodies. He pulled a Hideo Kojima and said, the food, here's my food review. The food weighs one pound. We are going to talk now with a prisoner who has been involved in gangs since he was young. He has been here for a very long time and has a lot more to come. What gangs do you belong to? To the MS-13. Why are you here? For multiple offenses. Like what? Homicides, deprivation of liberty, kidnapping, etc. How many people did you kill? I don't remember. So many were. We have committed different crimes at different times. Bro, this literally is like a, like a f IDF interrogation video. How long have you been in prison? I entered at the age of 21 and I am 47 years old. How much time do you I have left? When God permits, I will go out. Don't get into criminal groups like gangs, gangs, organized crime. Nothing that is crimes or sins on this earth. Because the consequences are serious even if they offer you heaven or earth. That is a lie of the devil. It is very sad to hear these stories and to know that it is the case of many of those here who committed horrible crimes when they were just children. Their environment got them involved in gangs. The society they grew up in made them believe that this was the right path. Yes, it's very hard, it's very sad. And I mean, whatever time you're watching me, you may think that the gang is your only escape. There's always another- Let me tell you something, that motherfucker is not rehabilitated, okay? You wanna, <laughs> there ain't no f way a dude put in a perma prison structure like that is, is getting rehabilitated after 26 years of being in there. It's like, this is the, this is the, thing that I try to advocate for that can't get through people's dense ass skulls, which is you put dudes in a situation like this, they're just going to become more hardened criminals. That's it. So the, the only way to ensure that they don't do more crimes or at least like limit the amount of crimes that they're doing is by limiting them around other criminals, people you have declared criminals. All this ends up doing is make those people who are like shopkeepers and shit or uh, arrested for suspicion of being a part of MS-13. All it does is make those guys also become criminals and do crimes to survive in prison. Like this is no different than just like literally being like, you're suspected of a crime, boom, shot and dead. All the more ironic by the fact that MS-13 is literally a direct consequence of the American prison system and how awful it is. That's how MS-13 was formed. They literally formed it to survive in prison. It's mind boggling. I, I don't understand how you can't like, how you don't see this issue, how you don't recognize like you're just making the problem worse. Other way, and you don't have to look for the easy way out. I leave this prison in El Salvador very shocked and with a strange feeling of relief. I can tell you that I have visited many prisons and have documented several for the channel. It gives a horrible feeling of helplessness when you visit prisons where criminals who have done horrible things live like kings. To be able uh, to appreciate- What? What prison have you visited where they live like kings, dog? This man is like, I'm a tourist for prisons. I love going to prisons. What a fucking freak this dude is. What the these fuck? These conditions and these measures in a maximum security prison gives a certain feeling of empowerment to a simple citizen like me. What feeling do you leave with? No, his, his ideology is not all over the place, dude. No, he's literally a fucking maximalist. Like he's saying, these conditions are torturous, gruesome, awful, and it's great that we are subjecting people to said conditions. He's like the opposite of me in almost every sense of the word. He's looking at the, the devastation and going, this is great. 
I'll read them down here in the comments. Many thanks to the people in the industry for opening the doors for me to be able to document this and share it with you. See you as always, you know, in a few days. Christ, dude.